now to an alternative way of warming yourself up this winter. Poetry. Apparently, some scientists have studied a poem called Joy of the Fireplace by Yorkshire poet Ben Taylor, and incredibly, their research suggested that when he read it, those listening experienced increased feelings of warmth. Well, I spoke to Ben earlier and started, of course, by asking him to demonstrate his warm words. We're coming to that time of year. Weather's turning and mornings are dark. There's that satisfying crunching of grass underfoot as you walk dog over at field and park. Frost nips at your nose, at your fingers, and your ears glow red like the bit. You feel smug as you turn back for home, because you know waiting there is fire you've lit. Oh, that's oh, lovely. That, <laughs> that is lovely, Ben. Do you know, there is something about your voice and the imagery that absolutely makes you warm straight away. What, what did you think when you heard that those words kind of put people in a position of comfort and warmth? Yeah, well, it's lovely. It's lovely to hear. Like, I've obviously had plenty of feedback in past sort of fruit way of comments and things like that, but never actual uh, scientific data. So <laughs> it's nice to hear. It's very flattering. Yeah, I wonder whether it's got something to do with the dialect as well. Do you think? Where are you from? Yeah. Where 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 did where would you pinpoint that in Yorkshire? So I'm from Wakefield, West Yorkshire. Um, so it's it's what they call the old West West Riding dialect, um, and well, yeah, I've heard it past that the Yorkshire accent accent's well known for just giving that feeling of, of, of warmth, I suppose, which is uh, ideal. As this is what I were after with that poem. So the research suggests that people actually smiled more when they were listening to you reading your poetry, well, so their facial again, muscles nice changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose that's what I'm going for. If I can make people put a smile on folks' face, especially at times, you know, as complicated as they are at the moment, if I can put a smile on somebody's face, then that's a good thing. Where did this start, Ben? It, it sort of started off, I were out with dog. I, I love being out, you know, out in Dales, on mowers, um, and just start by me, out with my little sausage dog, Barbara. Um, <laughs> Barbara? And... <laughs> That's Barbara, yeah. That was the first, first piece I wrote. A little line popped in my head and I, I, I wrote some it. And I just, found, I just found it really easy and uh, I sort of took it from there. <laughs> what, was, what was the line you wrote about Barbara, your dog? Uh, it was, I said, I have a sausage dog at home, what sits on my knee, Barbara, we call her, and she's bonny as can be. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Your poems are astonishingly popular. Before you go, can you give us just one more line of that? poem that makes everybody feel yes, warm. That's got to be one of the best feelings in life. In front of fire, we are not cup of tea. Dog dart on half warming up. There's no place that I'd rather be.